An accused cross country scam artist was arrested in North Carolina more than 700 miles away from where an investigation into him started. Here in central Indiana, police say he has more than 30 victims that they're aware of, but officials say he might also have victims in Tennessee and Florida, West Virginia, even North Carolina. CBS 4's Eric Graves spoke to some of those victims and shares their relief and warning to others. I wish I could go back in time. Heartbreaking. It was so brutal. Darcy Bell and Brian Ferry say they're both victims of John Bragg II, but to them he went by JB. He's a super nice guy. Bell and Ferry both hired Bragg to restore their vintage Volkswagen buses, giving them thousands in down payments and feeling like they'd done their due diligence. Great reviews on Facebook from the VW Club. Until things went south, Bell says Bragg stopped responding to her when she broke off the contract after he took her bus to Tennessee without asking her. For Ferry, he showed up to Bragg's shop thinking his bus was finished, only to find the building with eviction notices on the windows. Both were able to get their buses back, but Ferry was out 7,500 and Bell was out 14,000. And as soon as I said, where's my bus? It went from blue to green. So he obviously, you know, shut off the phone or did something. They and many others went to the Johnson County Sheriff's Office in the summer of 2022. Bell says she's talked to dozens of apparent victims. She estimated Bragg made off with more than $350,000 at least. Johnson County says they've had more than 30 victims come forward. When we first heard his name, it was a big issue for us. But Bragg was nowhere to be found until Saturday when he was arrested nearly 800 miles away from Johnson County in Beaufort, North Carolina. There were a lot of agencies with their hands in this to make this happen, and, and we, couldn't be, we couldn't be happier. Major Damien Cott with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office says they got a tip Friday night from that area, and by Saturday morning, Beaufort police had Bragg in handcuffs. <laughs> He's on the ground with his flip-flops and all bound up. It was beautiful. It's just a huge relief to know that he is actually sitting behind bars right now instead of out there scamming somebody else. In Johnson County, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. Now, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office says this should be a reminder to consumers to be careful. You should be checking references, verifying a real business, and checking in with the Better Business Bureau to see if that business has complaints.